Tonight, a family is demanding answers into a deadly shooting by Oakland County Sheriff's deputies. So far, the Sheriff's Office has only released this one still image of what happened leading up to the shooting. They say that's not enough. Victor Williams live on this story tonight with what the family is saying and the Sheriff's Office response. Victor. Yeah, Devin and Karen, it looks like what the family is saying is that the still that was released is just not aligning with what the witnesses are saying. The authorities, on the other hand, are saying that this person decided to get out of a vehicle after a chase and use a two-handed position pointing at them, and that's when all of this happened. Now the family just wants them to release that video in full. It's scary for, for us. Um, I'm just thinking about what was going through his head. I'm sure he was terrified. And to be honest, Victor, my brother shared with me that his biggest fear was dying by the hands of the police. Tiffany Macon can't believe what she's been hearing about her brother, 33-year-old Tony Cox, and how he died at the hands of deputies this past week. We just really need to know what happened, you know. Um, and the only people or persons who can give us the information would be the sheriffs. She says her brother was nothing more than a gentle giant, and that's why it's so hard to accept that he pointed his hands at officers in a threatening way, leading to his death after a high-speed chase. Tony is a robotic engineer. He graduated um, out there in Michigan. Uh, he was also working in his career field, and then he's also his own, uh, he owned his own trucking company. Her efforts are only increased by what witnesses say, especially this man who didn't want to go on camera, but spoke to Local 4 over the phone. I didn't see no weapon, and it don't look like to me he was pointing anything. And on top of that, if they were in front of him, why did this guy take all these shots in his back? I mean, I, I didn't see him get hit nowhere but in his back. Regardless, the family wants the truth. We just want answers, you know, like literally so my mom, my family can rest and understand what led up to that point. Now, we took all of these concerns to the Oakland County Sheriff's Department. We went there in person and we made several phone calls trying to see if they would release that video by any chance or maybe make a comment. But unfortunately, at this point in time, that has been unable to happen. Victor Williams, my local four, back to you. You know, Victor, it seems like hardly anything happens without a video camera somewhere. Any doorbell cameras, anything like that that might have caught something? Yeah, we went door to door and we only found one doorbell camera, but it looks like it was out of the position to really mm. see anything. Mm, and yeah. so we are hoping that maybe someone has something that can give us some more answers and shed some light on this situation. Hope so. All right, Victor.